Okay, guys, this will be your complete guide, or just about complete, for the dining of 2020. Now, there's a number of reasons why you want to do this event. Number one, you get access to the new fusion rifle, Glacial Classic, which we will be reviewing. Number two, you get access to all dining loot, such as the SMG Cold Front. It does have different random rolls this year, and I just want to go ahead and warn you, no, it does not have kill clip anymore, which is a big bummer. But you also have access to the Avalanche LMG, which does have some pretty decent rolls. Again, all these weapons we will be reviewing, but just to answer the questions for those that are wondering how they can even begin earning these rewards, essentially baking cookies and handing it to the specific NPC that likes that particular cookie. For instance, Gentleman Shortbread for Devrim K, Vanilla Blades for Lord Shax. Every NPC pretty much has their designated cookie. And when you hand them that cookie, they reward you a single holiday gift, which is normally just like a rare item, some donning spirit, it, which is necessary to progress the dawning quest, which is how you unlock ship upgrades for the new dawning ship. But occasionally you'll get a gift in return. This is a legendary item that will drop that you can open. And that is what actually drops the new dawning weapon, glacial clasm, as well as old dawning weapons. But before you get into all of that, the main goal of the dawning, at least initially for you, is purely to masterwork your oven. Everything takes place in this oven right here here. So loading up in the tower, heading over to Eva Levante, she will bless you with this holiday oven 2.0. Now the holiday oven saves all of your past recipes. These are recipes of cookies you may have made in previous dining events. But for those that have not made any cookies, you might want to know what the ingredients actually are. So essentially it boils down to a single uncommon enemy ingredient, a rare kill ingredient combined with essence of dining. First, before we get into how to farm for essence, Essence of Dawning, which is primarily like the resource you're going to be going after. Let me just put on the screen the enemy ingredients. You've got Vex Milk, which is collected from Vex, Ether Cane, which is collected from Fallen, Cabal Oil, which is collected from Cabal, Chitin Powder, which is collected from Hive, Taken Butter, which is collected from Taken, Dark Ether Cane, which is collected from Scorn. Pretty straightforward for the most part. Understand this is not a one to one ratio, like killing one Vex does not net you one Vex Milk. I sat there and had to kill a number of Hive before Chitin Powders actually began to drop and only got four out of all the kills that I got. It's very RNG based, so keep that in mind. The same thing applies here to the rare kill ingredients. These ingredients are the secondary ingredients that when combined with the uncommon enemy ingredients will net you a specific cookie. And if you don't get the right ingredient, you'll gain a burnt cookie. So first up, the rare ingredients. We'll start with delicious explosions. This involves explosive kills of any kind, which includes your class grenade grenades, your rocket launcher, as well as your grenade launchers. Sharp flavor, sword kills of any enemy type. This was extremely annoying though, because like we just said previously, everything is RNG based and I got a number of sword kills earlier and sharp flavor took forever to drop. Impossible heat, solo kills with either class abilities or weapon elements, electric flavor or art kills, no taste, void kills, flash of inspiration, generate orbs of power with your super or masterwork weapons, personal touch, melee kills on any enemy type. Now, let me mention something about personal touch. This was by far the most annoying one to proc. I would get melee kill after melee kill and personal touch ingredient was not dropping. Someone came by the stream though earlier and said for some reason, the art staff on hunters during your light attack would proc and drop personal touch ingredients. Again though, that's just like one comment. If you're at a point where you're like, my God, ingredients are just not dropping, you could try that one. Perfect taste, precision kills on any enemy type, bullet spray, kills with auto automatic weapons that actually involves heavy machine guns, auto rifles, submachine guns, finishing touch, kills with finishing moves, multifaceted flavors, earn multi kills on any enemy type, pinch of light, generate orbs of power, balanced flavors, bow kills, sniper kills, or scout rifle kills, superb texture, super kills on any enemy type. So those are all your rare kill ingredients, which now takes us to the very long list of all the cookie ingredients for all the enemy. NPCs. Now there's a lot here, but the main thing is once you learn a single one of these recipes, you've got it. It saves and you can go back and remake them without having to manually input each one of these recipes. And it's a good chance you already have most of these, which actually takes us to the five new recipes for this event. And these are the cookie recipes for Shaw, Tess, Varix, Crow, and Eva herself. First up with Shaw, we have Ether Cane plus Bullet Spray. For Tess, we have Kain plus Multifast. 
Music, Varix, we have Kain plus Electric Flavor, Crow, we have Dark Ether Cane plus Balanced Flavor, and Eva Levante, we have Taken Butter plus Superb Texture. Those are our new recipes for this donning event. And by the way, in the description, as well as a comment pinned below, I will have the ingredients for all of these. So feel free to look through that list. Again, upon baking these cookies and delivering them, will you begin to get rewards? Matter of fact, I think you get a glacial chasm right off the bat when you hand the first cookie off to Zavala. And that's like the second quest step. So I believe glacial chasm is a guaranteed drop, essentially on the first gift in return that you open, which will be from Zavala. Now, in order to really optimize farming for these weapons, you're going to want to masterwork your holiday oven, which means you're going to have to put in all the recipes that we just listed, and that's going to require a lot of essence of donning. Now, we look for ways to farm for essence of donning. Turns out there's two very good ways of farming it for both solo players and folks that are in a fire team. And of course, if you got a fire team, it's even faster. But for my solo players, just doing any activity, any core playlist activity will grant you somewhere around, what is it, 11 to 12 essence per activity completion. Surprisingly, one of the best ways to farm for essence of donning is actually wrathborn hunts and considering you can actually hold five charges now and if you're still farming for the new seasonal weapons this is an excellent way of getting 15 essence of donning to 16 every single time you complete one of these hunts and these hunts don't take long and they're fairly easy for a solo player i actually really like this because i'm still farming for deafening whisper friction as well as a few other seasonal weapons but by far if you're looking to just rack up a ton of donning essence in like 20 30 minutes and have plenty to pretty much do every single one of these recipes legend lost sectors is your friend you actually get 15 to 16 essence of donning for each completion of these lost sectors now a lot of people think you can only do these lost sectors solo that's only to get the exotic loot but you could take a fire team in there with you and speed run these things matter of fact we were doing this lost sector right here on europa in less than two minutes so two minutes for 15 essence by far the most efficient way to farm essence of donning now we did try out the master loss sector to just see if it might increase the number of essence of donning no it's still 15 to 16 so there's literally no reason to do any harder versions of these lost sectors just do the legend lost sectors as far as public events go i think public events give five essence of donning and i'm not even sure if regular lost sectors even give any essence of donning but by far if you got a fire team or if you're just high enough level to speed run these legend lost sectors dude you can knock out two birds one stone there farm for whatever the targeted exotic is for that lost sector that day and get 15 essence of donning each time the main thing to take away though about the donning event and master working this holiday oven i know we like sprint it through this in a single afternoon but essence of donning will drop from any core playlist activity Therefore, just simply doing activities in the game will net you a ton of these essence. So you don't have to just speed run and speed farm for these essence. But if you are looking to knock this out within an afternoon easily, then farming legend lost sectors is by far the way to go. So guys, that is essentially your donning event and holiday oven guide. When it comes to cookies, you simply bake them and bring them to the associated NPC. The only one that's kind of a difficult one to get a cookie to is, of course, Riven which is a triumph. You will need to get a ribbon checkpoint and then after getting a ribbon checkpoint, stand in your spots, initiate the encounter. And when you go down, there'll be a little spot. You can almost see it look like a snow globe. Run over there and that's how you can give your cookie to ribbon. And that of course will be your thousand layer cookie. Feel free to refer back to this guide as you're doing all of this. And again, as far as the ingredients go, it's purely RNG based. And I don't know if that's intentional or a bug. I found that they did finally drop. You just might have to get a number of kills. Like perfect taste you just might have to get a lot of precision kills before it actually drops bullet spray the same thing some of these of course you can actually double stack with though things like bullet spray if you're rocking an auto rifle to get those bullet spray kills as well as multifaceted flavor kills for multi kills you could turn around and use a void based auto rifle like knowing hunger to get no taste ingredients you see where i'm coming from so feel free to try to double stack this to possibly get at least one of these ingredients as you're getting a number of kills and as far as where to farm
farm for these ingredients. I didn't necessarily choose a specific location unless, of course, I was actually going after a specific enemy ingredient. Obviously, if you're needing Vex milk, you want to go kill Vex. You want Cabal oil, you need to go kill Cabal. I would say maybe the strike playlist might be your friend there as you can just be put into rotation. But for the most part, I found obtaining enemy ingredients not as difficult as the rare kill ingredients. So just loading into a lost sector of that associated enemy type on whatever destination would normally net me enough of those enemy ingredients. It was the rare kill ingredients that were a little more difficult to obtain. And I found that just going after Essence of Dawning while simultaneously getting specific kills to net myself rare kill ingredients was just the best way to do it in regards to saving time. So guys, that is your guide for the Dawning. Let me know in the comments below if we missed anything. As far as the ship goes, that one's pretty straightforward. You simply just bake cookies and complete the quest guide that Eva has present for you. A lot of it does require a ton of dawning spirits. And just remember, dawning spirits drop from completing bounties. They also drop from triumphs. So try to complete these triumphs simultaneously as you're doing everything else. And while you're actually giving cookies to that associated NPC, dawning spirits will also be dropping. There's 14 steps, though, to that quest step. And I have not completed it. But for the most part, I think they're just all upgrades to the ship itself, which is pretty cool. You get like a new transmat effect. You can like change the visual effect behind the ship itself. There's also a like community quest that's going on right now called the Share the Dawning Spirit. I think we're currently at like somewhere between 10 and 15%, but obtaining Dawning Spirit will contribute to that as a community. I have no idea what the reward is at the end of this quest. I don't think it's going to be random rolls for Hawkmoon. No, I had some people jumping by the stream today. It's easy to get hyped up for that, right? I don't think that's going to be the case. We'll see though. It may. It may surprise all of us. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.